want to bless you, Father, for making it possible for us to gather this evening for question and answer once again. Daddy, we want to appreciate you because you are worthy to be praised. I want to thank you because you are our Father, you are our Shepherd, you are our King, you are the owner of our soul. Eternal Rock of AG, I want to appreciate you, Father, because you alone is the owner of our life. Daddy, I want to thank you because power belongs to you, Father. I want to thank you, merciful Redeemer, because you are the God who never lies. I want to thank you, merciful Redeemer, this evening we have come again to another session of Ask Your Question. Holy Spirit, we invite you this evening, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. You say where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there. Holy Spirit, we invite you this evening to come and take absolute control over this question and answer that at the end of today's program, we will have the cause to rejoice. Father, every arrow from the pit of hell we send them back to send out, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, we invite you, proper, to take absolute control. Every question that will come this evening, Lord, answer them because you are the answer to all problems. Lord, we invite you, Holy Spirit, to take absolute control. Take away every confusion, take away every misunderstanding. Take away all the activities of the evil ones, Lord, and silence them that at the end of today's question and answer, we will have the cause to glorify your name. Blessed be the holy name, Lord, for you be that glorified, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, fathers, mothers, good evening to you all. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have come this session of uh, ask your question where you are this evening, where you are following the program on Zoom, on the Facebook, where you are hearing us. Feel free this evening to ask any of your question. And I show you that God who we serve, God will answer you according to, according to the will of God. And the Lord of heaven will answer you as you have uh, as you have come to hear from him, that he will speak to you in the language you will understand in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, before we go on, please, if you have a question over there, the people on Zoom, you are free to raise up your hand so that we can able to attend to the question on time. Please, if you have your question there, just raise up your hand so that we can take the question on time. The people on Zoom. I believe we are hearing me. If you have your question over there on Zoom, raise up your hand so that we can answer the questions on time. Anybody have a question on Zoom? The people on Zoom, if there is no question, we go ahead, let's read something in the Bible this evening, something that we help us to really understand what is happening in the world today. And uh, we need to look at, uh, we need to look at it proper. Let's read in the book of, uh, the book of Art of Apostle, chapter 19. Let's read something there. Art of Apostle,
Act of Apostle chapter 19. Let's take in from verse 10. Anybody there? Hallelujah. Yes, Out of 19 from 10 or 11. Yes, take it from verse 10. From, from verse and, 10. Okay. And this continue for two years, so that all who dwell in Asia are the word of the Lord Jesus Christ, both Jews and Greek. Now, God walk unusual miracle by the hand of Paul, so that even handkerchief or Ephron were brought from his body to the sick, and the disease left them, and the evil spirit went out of them. The same of the in interred Jews Exercise. Okay. okay. Took it upon themselves to call the name of the Lord Jesus Christ over those who had evil spirits, saying, "We exercise you by the Jesus who Paul preached." And um, yeah. Let's stop there. Okay. We are going to look at. Uh, um that miracle paul did there in verse 12. Okay. i don't know if anybody can emphasize on that particular chapter or that verse 12. anybody on the zoom can emphasize on that from verse 12 or from that 12 verse 12 there's something there that happened there in verse 12 it, it was talking that saying that even the the, the handkerchief and the apron that was brought in from the body of boy he the sick and the disease and the even the evil spirit went out from the people because it was filled with the spirit of the Lord. So a usual miracle was performed through it by the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay. God bless you. Any other person? Any other person that can emphasize on that particular verse? The people on Zoom, nobody could, nobody apart from our brother. Okay, we are talking about the unusual miracle Paul did. Paul did this un unusual miracle at Ephesus. And uh, this miracle today of a Paul using a handkerchief and uh, is now rampant in the war that the people today are being carried away by this handkerchief. This handkerchief today and apron has become another thing to do in the area, people using it to deceive the people, people using it to collect people's money, just because of uh, they saw it in the Bible and uh, they didn't have, there was no, there was no understanding of uh, this um, fruit of this particular chapter, this particular place in verse 12, the people lack of understanding of how this thing happened. And I saw it, that is something that we need to address 
by the people that are in the world today. Some people today has been carried away by apron. Some people has been carried away by handkerchief today, saying that it is a miracle they give you apron. When you when you wear this apron, you are safe. When you have this handkerchief, you are safe. Is that was it so? No. We need to have this understanding here. And the poor minister at Ephesus was uh, is something that the Lord Jesus Christ himself needed to glorify his name by what by showing his mighty power through Apostle Paul by using by instructed him it was instruction it was led by the holy spirit it was led by the holy spirit to use apron and the handkerchief in that particular time to what to he all these people that was possessed with the with the evil spirit and uh, you saw that the evil spirit went out away from them and if you read, if you check it, there was no any other place in the Bible that apron and the handkerchief was used. There was no such area. There was no such place. But let us see in the book of uh, Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. Let's see verse 27. Mark 5:27. Mark 5:27. Oh, read. Let another person read if the person is there. Okay. Mark 5:27. I saw Prince is there. See, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It said when she had when she had heard of Jesus coming in, the pressy behold behind and touch and touch his and touch his garment. And touch his garment. And this is another miracle today that happened at that particular time of Jesus when jesus was passing and for she said if i may touch that his cruise what happened i shall be made whole that was that was another miracle that happened there but if you check it with this one of the apron and a handkerchief it was different it was a different case it was a different case is only paul that used handkerchief but today handkerchief and the apron is now being carried all over the world. And uh, now it's now the people in the world, the pastors are now focusing on apron and the handkerchief to collect uh, people's money in the church. But all these things are not what are not uh, they are contrary of what happened here in the Act of Apostle chapter 19, verse 12. Is contrary of uh, using apron and a handkerchief to deceive people to collect money. If you check that uh, in that particular time when Apostle Paul used apron and a handkerchief, and it was not sold to anybody. There was no place in the Bible that recorded that Apostle Paul, after using that apron and handkerchief, and now he instructed the whole police, instructed the whole members to begin to buy handkerchief and apron because they are free for handkerchief and apron. But some people are saying right now, it's now is something that uh, God have lead them, that people, uh, God lead the people in the uh, uh, diverse area. And uh, people are blind with that. They are being carried away by that. Saying that uh, you wear apron, you hold that handkerchief, you are safe. It's not true. You are saved by what? 
by the deposit by the deposit of the spirit of god as in, in you because there is a deposit you being a child of god there is a deposit in you christ have deposited his spirit in you and through that you are saved and secure not by that apron not by that handkerchief that you tie on your hand or you tie it on your neck or right now Anywhere you are going, you are holding that handkerchief. They tell you right now, it's a miracle handkerchief. All these are fake. All these are the name of what collecting people's money. Of way that it is not acceptable in the Christendom today. We must not practice it. We must not allow anybody to deceive us. You saw people that are wearing apron all over. They will tell you yes. They wear apron. This is what I was. Told. This is what we were told that uh, yes, wearing apron, and uh, you are saved, friend. I took time to take to to really go to search the Bible to see if there is anything, if there is anything like that. There was not. Let's look at uh, Act of Apostle chapter five again. Act five fifteen. Let's see something there. Art chapter first at five fifteen. Let's see something. At five fifteen. Nobody is there. No shit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So can you go ahead? Are you not there? Yes, sir. Acts 5 15. Yes. He summoned that they brought forth the sick into the street and laid them on bed and torches, that at least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. Yes. Do you see that? That is another miracle that happened. But all these things happen by the instruction of the holy spirit but how can somebody tell you right now the holy spirit is telling him not to go and buy handkerchief the handkerchief they are selling how much are they selling handkerchief whether it's not a hundred error and now the person is telling you the handkerchief is five thousand error the person is telling you the handkerchief is five thousand that the holy ghost are the holy ghost have uh, given him instruction that anybody that uses handkerchief and uh, we'll be blessed. We receive a miracle. Which miracle? This is fake. This is fake and idolatry. And many people, because they of the blindness of the war, and people abide the handkerchief. And pastor are using that uh, medium to collect people's money. We must know that uh, such thing should not be. Should not be. We should not assess such thing. If you have all those apron already. You have those handkerchief. I will tell you, I will advise you, go and put them in those beads. The only thing you are saved by the deposit of the Spirit of God that is in you as you have given your life to Him. All these things that we saw in the Bible, if we are not careful, if we are not careful, we may, we, we may misunderstand the, the Bible because this Bible is not a novel for somebody to understand proper. He, he, he take he take the spirit of God for us to understand the Bible. Any minister today who make an attempt to go and work and raise money, uh, getting financial support by the name of uh, apron and reading what is uh, written here in the study Bible, and can chief for the healing is not is not acting accordingly to what to Paul to uh, to what Paul did here by the spirit that lead Paul. For Paul did not uh, use such such thing to what to get money. He did not. He did not use it to raise money. He did not use it to raise money. We need to know this. The empowering that was on him through through the through the help of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit empowered him to what to use that so that those people can be healed and be deliverance. They were uh, deliver, delivering more people than what than as as a person 
and as he touched with his hand, the Holy Spirit instructed him. We must know that people today, there are a lot of churches all over the world bringing out different doctrine, the doctrine of the demon. And we must be careful of those things we are setting. Is it something that uh, we need to read our Bible proper? Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Now, you, if you don't use apron, if you don't use a, um, if you don't use a handkerchief, you cannot get your miracle. No, it's not so. It's not so. We must know that it was instruction. If the pastor is praying now, the Lord tell the person, oh yeah, go and use sand. And now it's now after that, after he have done that, now he will not begin to put sand inside the inside the inside the small container and begin to tell people now come and buy this and this and is for five thousand or ten thousand and people are rushing to buy how is it possible how is it possible even though that you are being instructed but how is it possible you are not selling it to get the to get the money how why all these things should not be done we must uh, know that all these things are not real. Check a true pastor, a true man of God that are being called by the Lord. There are some things that even the church will not allow, will not sell it. Not to talk of you are saying right now, the Lord instructed you to give hanker to use handkerchief. And now handkerchief and apron has become a business in the church. You buy it 100 naira, you will see right now, okay. Uh, is is five thousand or is ten thousand, and uh, you sold it, and uh, wow, you are now a rich pastor. Brothers and sister, is wrong. It's contrary of what happened here. We must be careful of what we are doing. We must be careful of where we are going, so that we will not be deceived. I believe that. Uh, God will help us for all this miracle. I'm not telling you there is no miracle. There is miracle. There are raw miracle. There are pure miracle. There are great miracles. But we must be careful of what we are doing. And I pray that God will help us all in Jesus' name. I don't know if any, any person have any question there before we continue now. Please, if you have a question, just raise up your hand so that we can attend to your question. So my question is that, you know, Bible made mention of that. If you have a question, you will raise up your hand so that it will not, uh, it will not dis uh, disturb. No problem. Go ahead. So my question is regard of what you just said. Now, because the Bible made this mention in the name of Shaban, he told Shabbat that Jesus is Lord and the healing shall commence. So, uh, we are not hearing you. Your voice is coming and going. Some of these preachers today, I, what I'm saying is, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said the Bible said, and the mention of the name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. And majority of these uh, men of God today, though, I, so I won't just call of them, all of them fake. They use the same name, the name of Jesus to say, in the name of Jesus, I command this and miracle happens. And uh, because there is somewhere in the Bible that also said that the devil cannot be, the house of the devil cannot be divided against itself. So I don't understand now. I, my question is now that how come they use the same name of God under the pretense of the devil? The same name of Jesus to do the same miracle. Okay. Therefore, your question now is how come they are using the name of Jesus Christ to, to do the same miracle? Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. But you remember that the Bible said that even the Satan himself has transformed himself to become the angel of light. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You can see that the devil himself has transformed himself to become the angel of what? 
the angel of light. Don't you hear that uh, Jesus said that it's not those that say, Lord, Lord, that will enter my father's kingdom. And uh, he said that on that day, many will come. I cast out demon by your name. I do miracle by your name. I do this by your name. But he will say, get away. I know you not. But do you know that even Jesus Christ can use Satan to glorify his name? If Jesus Christ can use any, anybody, you may be carrying away, you may be carrying away by all those things you call miracle. Yes, God is taking glory, but you are not his servant. Do you understand that? Yeah? Yes, sir. You can it can use you. It can use you. It can even use Satan to do anything. He can use you to perform the miracle. People are getting healing. People are free from sickness. People are receiving breakthrough. People are receiving all kinds of things that they needed in life. But you are not what? You are not uh, serving. You are not following him. You are not his child. But he can, he can, he, you can have a, a mega church and you are performing miracle, your place has become a miracle center. And people are seeing you as what? Well, as a man of God. But God is seeing you as a, as what? As a Sita, a Sita child, you are not his child. Glory is what is being given to God. You see that? Yes, eh? sir. Yes, sir. And therefore, you should not be carried away by those things, miracle you are seeing. You should be carried away by what? By the truth. By Bible said, by the truth we shall what? We shall know them. By their fruits, by what they produce. Say, so Pastor was confessing a few days, a few weeks ago, that I, I, I hear the pastor was talking. He said that if they want to do evil, they don't come to church, all these evil pastors. When they are worshiping God, when they are praising God, they will not come. You will not see them there. They will not worship God. The next thing you will see, then they come in and begin to do their barakata. Because they know that there is power in praise and worship. That was what the pastor was saying. But that person can enter altar. The person will begin to perform. The pastor begin to talk of a miracle that here. That, that they did with all evil spirits. And people were so marvel. But those power, they know that they are not working with what? With, the, with, 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 with Jesus. Therefore, you need to understand that uh, uh, you need some of them. You may hear that they are calling them. You think that they are calling the name of Jesus. They are not calling Jesus. They have their name they are calling. We need to just be careful. You hear they are speaking tongues. Some of them, you think that they are speaking the heavenly tongue. You don't know that they are calling you their father, the demon. You don't. You need to be very, very careful, so that uh, we, so that we will not be carried away about what uh, what we are seeing. I hope you understand that. Yes, sir. Okay. Any question? Okay, sister, please go ahead. Okay, thank you, sir. And um, I just want to contribute to what you said concerning this um, question. Okay. You know, we have it in uh, Matthew 13. If you read from 24, you will see where Jesus was talking about sowing um, the good seed. Let me just read it from 24. He said, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, the kingdom of heaven is likewise unto a man which soweth good seed in the field, that is, God has come to sow a good seed. You understand? To all of us, uh, Jesus came to earth and he preached the word. He talked to us what we should do. You understand? He said, but why men slept? The enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprang up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears also. So the servant of the household, as holder, 
came and said unto him, Sir, didn't not thou sow a good seed in the field? From whence then had it tears? He said unto them, An enemy had done this. The servant said unto him, Would thou then that we go and gather them up? We shall those churches, those pastors, those people that call themselves pastors, but they are not working for God. You understand? And I said, but, but he said, Nay, let why ye gather up the tears, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reaper, gather ye together first the tears and bind them in the bundle to burn them, but gather the wheat into the bin. So you can see that it is going to be so in the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. All these fake pastors, all these fake prophets, all these things will still continue. But it is for us to continue praying to know so that God will direct us to the right path. You understand? So this thing will continue, but it's for us. And I pray that those people who are in these wrong churches, who are in these wrong places, believing that they are worshiping God, not knowing that they are not following the real God, that for God to open their eyes, eyes, and so that they will know the truth and follow the truth, because the, the weak, the good ones and the bad ones will always go together in the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I pray God help us all in Jesus' name. It all depends of uh, you, and uh, you hear the explanation of our sister. You are the one that will decide uh, the one you are going to take. You are the one that will decide the one that you will not take. That is why the Bible said, "Be wise," and they said, "Watch and pray." A time like this, you must watch and pray so that you will not be deceived by what you are seeing in the world. Is it something that we must to be very, very careful with? And as you do that, God will continue to, to bless you. Any, any other question, any other contribution? If there is no, let us. Eh? I'm not, we are not hearing you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My question is that what about those that are working in ignorance, thinking they are sound the truth, as our sister has just said, because out of ignorance, they desire to serve God really, but maybe they find themselves, they were brought up and they grew up and made themselves in the religion. Ignorantly, they think they are sound the truth. We are not uh, hearing you proper. Your voice is uh, coming and going. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sir, I said, what about those that are serving God or worshiping a place ignorantly, whereas these people, they desire to serve God in the right way, in truth and in spirit, but out of might be the family, they made themselves, how they, they maybe they grew up to meet themselves in a particular religion. But these people, to them, they think they are serving God in the right way, and ignorantly, they don't know. How about those people? Okay. Such people, God will not allow them to go to hell. God is going to deliver such people. You know that we have been praying for the people who are serving God in England. Am I right? Eh? You see, we, there are people out there I pray also, God, such people that are hungry for the truth, such people that are serving God, the art of ignorance, God bring them out. And God is going to deliver such people. God will not fold his hand like this, allow Satan to destroy such people. And such people must come out of that room before the trumpet will sound. God will use any medium to deliver those people. He is, is not, uh, our God is still at work. He never put his hand to do the work. 
That is why that you must be sharing the message. I must be sharing the message. Why? You don't know. Just like a time ago, that uh, when a somebody, a, a sister that was so zealous to serve God, she was so zealous to serve God. And they're getting to a question that this sister, the pastor told her, there is holy sin. That this sister, she's zealous, she wants to serve God. And the, the pastor began to sleep with her in the church. The pastor told her that this sin will not take her to hell. This is a holy sin. But on the day that the Lord moved her to go and watch one of our programs on Facebook, after she listened to the message, she called on me. And uh, we, we were chatting. I was asking her questions. She said, yeah, she's a born again. I said, do you know what is all about born again? I begin to what I begin to emphasize emphasize of what is all about Christianity, and he uh, reached a point. The sister asked, "What is holy sin? Are you seeing it?" But this sister, she was so zealous of what to serve God. I say, sister, there is nothing like holy sin in the Bible. There is no place in the Bible that are being written that there is holy sin, and the sister said. A pastor told that there is a holy sin. I say it's a lie. That pastor has deceived you. And they don't do, don't do, don't do before the sister opened her mouth and begin to tell me how the pastor has been rubbishing her. The pastor said that is a holy sin. Do you see that? And then the Lord have decided, the Lord decided on that day to bring that sister out of bondage. That sister, she was in bondage for years. But she was having this zeal to serve the Lord, having this zeal to know the Lord. But at the end, she entered one chance of war of a pastor that said, Holy sin. Do you see that? Therefore, God is still interested such people. God is still going to deliver them, all those people that are, that are, that want to serve God in reality, in sincerity, and now they are in one chance church. I call it one chance. They have entered one chance, and God is going, God will not fold his hand, and God will deliver those people that they may have eternal life because God knows their sincerity, God knows their mind, God knows everything they are what they are doing, God knows how they want to serve God. But now, because of their are. They are, they are blind, and God is going to open their eyes. God is going to rescue them. God will not allow Sita to destroy their life. It is, your, it is a job that you and I must do. For us not to fold our hand, we, we must continue to grow this, uh, this trumpet of truth. There are such people that are in that particular area, that are in that mess, that they may be saved and come back to the knowledge of God. It is something we must not uh, we must not joke with. That is just, that is just the truth. What about what about the people that are in the place where the gospel have not reached, that they are having zeal to know the law, but God will not hold Himself to what to allow such people to die and go to hell. He knows how to what to save those people. He knows how to arrange it. God can move anybody. Have you not heard, heard about uh, preachers that in America that said that God have moved them to Africa? Why? God want to say so. God can just uh, tell you right now what he wants you to do because there are something that he wants to use it to achieve. God is still in business of what? Of delivering his children out of the hand of the evil one. God is still interested about that and he will continue to do it. I hope you have got your answer. Yes, sir. Okay. Any other question? The people on phone, if you have a question, no problem. Any question? Okay. Let us uh, bow down our head as we pray this evening. 
You are the Lord, you are my God. You are the eye that you to see. You are the king that opened the door. You are the owner of my soul. The fire burning that never consumed. What shall I render to you, O God? Lord, will we bow down and worship your name? You are the Lord. You are my God. You are my God. You are the eye that you to see. You are the key that opens. You are the owner of my soul, the fire burning that never consumed. What shall I render to you, God? I will bow down and worship me. You are my God, my soul. Shall magnify in the Lord. Let my spirit praise his name. For that could not hold the captive. Lord, evil in the grave. Jesus is Lord. Even in the grave, Father Jesus is Lord. My soul shall magnify in the Lord. Oh, but my spirit praise his name. From death could not hold the captive. Even in the grave. Father Jesus is Lord, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. This evening, I want you to open your mouth and begin to talk to God this evening. I want you to open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. I want you to open your mouth and begin to talk to him and tell the Lord, help me. Lord, help me that I will not be deceived by what I am seeing in the world. By the evil that are in the society today, we have saw that the evil of people deceiving people, or the name of miracle through apron and the handkerchief, we saw it that today, that today in the war, is not rampant in the war, in the churches today, that you see handkerchief and apron, to deceive the people collecting their money away from them. Pray that the Lord of heaven will help you, that you will not be deceived by all these things that people call miracles, but all these things are fake. Pray that the Lord of heaven will help you, that you will not be ignorant. Pray that any man or woman that Satan has prepared to deceive you, to give your own doctrine, that the Lord of heaven to disconnect you away from that person, if I am the one, let God disconnect you away from me. But if I am not the one, whoever you may be, let God disconnect them out of your life. Pray this every, pray this every, and talk to God. Tell the Lord to help me, to guide me. Lord, guide me for the truth. Guide me into your truth. Praise your Father in glory. We want to thank you. We want to bless your name. That is for your mercy, for your kindness, for your love. Lord, we want to appreciate you this evening. Lord, for your word day by day, my Father, in glory, making us to understand of who you are. Therefore, eternal rock of age, we have come to you this evening. We are asking you, Father, to help us. We are asking you, Holy Spirit, to keep us going. We are asking you, O oh, merciful Jesus, Lord, to direct us, O oh, Lord, my Father, in glory. That we pray, O oh Lord, that we will not be deceived by what we are seeing today in the world. Father, guide us, O oh Lord, and take away every blindness out of our life. Blindness today that cover the eyes of people, for people not to see the truth 
oh merciful father i ask you holy ghost my father to help us oh lord my father that we will not be carried away by what we are saying in the world father help us oh lord to live according to your word father help us oh lord my father in glory that every scale that is in our heart let the scale my father in glory be known count to lord let those kids, my father, be kicked out, O oh Lord, my father, in glory, that we will not be carried away by what we are seeing in the world. Lord, help us, O oh Lord, my father, to understand your will. Help us, O oh Lord, my father, to follow you, O oh Lord. Come rain, come shine, my father, in glory. Lord, my father, I pray that you will help us to be very careful of what we are saying today. For what we are following, my father, for those things we are believing on. Oh, merciful father. Only you that will direct us, only you that will show us your way, only you that will open our eyes for us to see my Father in glory. Merciful Jesus, I pray, my Father and my God, that you will help us, O Lord, my Father, that no man or woman will be able to deceive us, O Lord. Father, guide us, O Lord. You say, when the Holy Ghost shall come, the Holy Ghost will guide us into truth, my Father. Lord, I pray this evening that your name below be glorified. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray this evening and tell the Holy Spirit to guide you in this particular time. Tell Jesus, I need your Holy Spirit in my life. Because when the Holy Spirit is in you, the Holy, the Lord, the Word of God said, Let a prophet speak one or two words, let the other judge whether it's from the Lord. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit, how can you judge? If you don't have the Holy Spirit, how can you really know whether that person that is speaking, whether it is for the Lord or is sent for the pit of hell to deceive you? Brothers and sisters, even Satan himself has transformed his head himself to become the angel of life. And much more, his ministers also, they have transformed themselves right now to be ministers of righteousness so that they can, so that they can deceive the world. Pray this evening and tell the Lord, Lord, I need the Holy Spirit that I be able, I be able to know those any all those angels, all the angels that the Satan have raised today. All of them that you want to know, then tell the Lord to help you. Tell the Holy Spirit to guide you. Tell the Holy Spirit to hold your hand. Tell the Holy Spirit to see you through this evening. Oh, eternal rock of age. You alone is my father. You alone is the king of all glory. You alone is the keeper of my soul. Therefore, eternal rock of age, I cry unto you this evening. Father, you will help me, O oh Lord, my father, in glory. You will help me, O oh Lord, my father. You will open my eyes more and more. Holy Spirit of the living God, I need your presence a time like this, Lord. Holy Spirit, I am in need of you, O oh Lord, that I will not be carried away by what pastors are doing today or by what is going on in the world. Father, guide me, O oh Lord, into truth, my Father. You said, when the Comforter, O oh Lord, who is the Father will send in my name, when that Spirit comes, when the Comforter shall come, he will guide us into truth. Lord, I pray, my Father, in glory, that you will guide us into truth, that we will not be carried away by what we are seeing. Holy Spirit, we are in need of you. We need you, Holy Spirit. Guide us, O oh Lord, my Father, that at the end of this journey, we will have the cause to glorify. Blessed be the Holy Name, Father, because you are worthy to be prayed, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Almighty Father, I want to thank you for your children that are taking their time this evening once again to come, my Father, to this program. Daddy, I pray, O oh Lord, that a shower of blessing will fall on them this evening. Where they are connected right now, where they are hearing my voice, all over the world, I pray, O oh Lord, that your glorious light will shine upon your children. Where Amen. they are, my Father, in glory, you will guide them and protect them. You will deliver them from the hands of the evil one. Father, Amen. you will frustrate all the programs of the enemy concerning their life. Daddy, I Amen. pray, O oh Lord, my Father, that no man or woman will be able to deceive them. All these things, my father, that they are doing today. The devil have entered the child proper, my father, in glory. Using men and women. But I pray, oh Lord, my father, that we will not be deceived, oh Lord, by what we are seeing, by what we are hearing. Oh, merciful father, 
guide us into truth, my Father. Guide us, O oh Lord, my Father, that we will not stop our journey in our way. Holy Spirit, show us your mercy, O oh Lord, that we will not swallow error that we are seeing in the world, that at the end of this journey, Father, we will have the cause to rejoice. Thank you, Father, in glory because you are worthy. Father, go ahead, Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. As we return back by 12 o'clock, 12 midnight, Holy Spirit, you will guide us. Father, you will see us through that at the end of today, all glory and honor be unto you. Blessed be the Holy Name. Thank you, Father, for how you have been carrying us so far. Thank you because you didn't allow this month to see the end of all. Thank you, Father, in glory, my Father, in glory. You have done it again, my Father, for making us to see this end of this month. Blessed be the Holy Name, Lord. Father, go ahead, Lord. And let your name below be glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Lord. Amen. Amen. Fathers, mothers, and brothers and sisters, God bless all of you. We'll see you again by 12.